Moonstone. It's the essential item you need if you want to fully utilize and get the most from your Room of Requirement and Vivarium. I'm going to show you a quick and simple way to farm hundreds of Moonstone in minutes. That way you can build all of your creations without stopping for long periods of time looking around for all the Moonstone. To start, travel to Upper Hogsfield and go to the Flue Flame and then jump on your broom and fly around the trees to start off in the canyon area behind. You will start at the entrance of the canyon and see large veins of Moonstone. Collect them all as you walk your way down to the opening below. Make sure you stay to the end of the video because I actually have another quicker way to farm Moonstone. However, it can only be used one time, but it will reward you with hundreds of Moonstone. The next Moonstone vein we want to target is the location up on the mountain above Hogsmeade. Here is our second large deposit. We would have even more to collect here, but unfortunately some of the Moonstone is trapped inside the cliff and is not able to be collected. Our last Moonstone location is further south and just west of Hogsmeade, right on the side of the Forbidden Forest. Here the deposit starts on the wall and we follow the path down the hill to collect all the way up to a spider's nest. You may have to deal with a wolf along the way, but you can get creative with that one. You want to make sure you don't miss any along this path, because we don't want to be short on Moonstone when we return to our Vivarium. Revelio. Now that we are done with the three Moonstone locations, fast travel back to Upper Hogsfield and this is where we are going to reset all of the Moonstone deposits so we can repeat the farming process. I have taken us back to the starting location and as you can see the Moonstone has not respawned since we collected it. However, all we have to do here is bring up our map and press the button to wait time. We just need to repeat this process seven times and it'll reset all the deposits of Moonstone across the map and let us repeat the process. I have fast forwarded this process because I don't want you all falling asleep. You're still awake, right? As you can see, after the seventh time, all of the Moonstone has been respawned. Each run of this farming process I've shown you only takes about two minutes to complete and you can repeat it as much as you need. I've been using this method and I have more Moonstone than I need. So the bonus one time use method to get hundreds of Moonstone is to use your vanishing spell on all of the unwanted picture frames, mirrors and other furniture. If you haven't done this, it will reward you with lots and lots of Moonstone. Just make sure to check all of the other rooms you have obtained. This will also help you clear the way for your own designs. The last method, but definitely the slowest, is to build material refineries which produce 10 Moonstone every 10 minutes. These cost 15 Moonstone to create, so they're a slow return on investment. The first two processes will make sure you have more than enough Moonstone for any of your creations, especially due to the most expensive building pieces being 15 Moonstone, and that's for the breeding pen, but most objects are below 10. If you're wondering what could someone possibly need all this Moonstone for, I'll link some of my Vivarium builds below so you can get an idea of where it all goes. I also have small clips of them playing in the background to give you a little idea. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe, and thank you for watching.